In a world of glamour and silent screens, one woman defied the norms and changed the face of cinema forever. Her bobbed hair became a symbol of rebellion, her eyes captivated audiences across the globe, and her performances still resonate nearly a century later. But who was Louise Brooks beyond the screen? Join us as we uncover the extraordinary life of this timeless icon, a woman whose rise to fame in the 1920s was as meteoric as her fall, only to be rediscovered as one of the most influential actresses in film history. From small-town Kansas to international stardom in Europe, to her unexpected exit from Hollywood, and her rediscovery as a film legend, this is the story of Louise Brooks, the original silent screen siren. Louise Brooks, the timeless icon of silent cinema, a life beyond the screen. Louise Brooks on November 14, 1906, in Cherryvale, Kansas, was one of the most enigmatic and influential actresses of early cinema. Known for her iconic bob haircut and rebellious spirit, Brooks became a symbol of 1920s glamour, a screen legend whose influence would extend far beyond her career. Early life. From Kansas to New York. Brooks grew up in a conservative household but was anything but traditional. By the age of 15, she left her small town in Kansas to pursue a career in dance, training with the avant-garde Denishon Dance Company in New York City. Her striking beauty and undeniable charisma quickly caught the eye of Broadway producers, landing her roles in Ziegfeld Follies and other popular stage productions. Rise to fame, Hollywood and the silent film era. In 1925, Brooks transitioned from the stage to the screen, signing a contract with Paramount Pictures. Her first roles in silent films were modest, but her star quality was unmistakable. Brooks's first breakout film was A Girl in Every Port, 1928, directed by Howard Hawks, where her beauty and modern style captured attention. However, it was her collaboration with German director G.W. Pabst that would cement her place in cinema history. Pandora's Box and European Stardom In 1929, Brooks starred in Pandora's Box, directed by G.W. Pabst, where she played Lulu, a seductive and morally ambiguous character. Her daring performance shocked audiences and critics alike. Brooks's portrayal of Lulu was both revolutionary and controversial, pushing the boundaries of female representation in cinema. In the same year, she also starred in Pabst's Diary of a Lost Girl, another daring and sexually charged role. Her work in these films, particularly Pandora's Box, would later be hailed as some of the greatest performances in silent film history, establishing her as a screen siren of European cinema. A swift decline, leaving Hollywood behind. Despite her rising fame in Europe, Brooks's Hollywood career began to falter. Known for her rebellious personality, she clashed with studio executives and refused to conform to the film industry's expectations. By 1931, she had left the movie business entirely, moving back to New York and struggling financially. Hollywood had seemingly forgotten about her, and Brooks spent years working various jobs, including as a salesgirl and a dance instructor, rediscovery and legacy. In the 1950s, film historians and critics began to reevaluate Louise Brooks's contributions to cinema, particularly her work in European films. French critics especially championed her as a trailblazer in film acting. Writer James Card, a curator at the George Eastman Museum, played a significant role in reintroducing her films to new audiences and helping to restore her legacy. Brooks later penned her memoir, Lulu in Hollywood, which detailed her life in the film industry, her interactions with other stars of the era, and her reflections on the nature of fame. Her writing was widely acclaimed for its wit and insight, and it cemented her place as not only a film icon, but also an important voice in Hollywood history. Final Years and Death Louise Brooks spent her final years living in relative seclusion in Rochester, New York. She became a celebrated figure in cinema history and enjoyed a renaissance of appreciation for her work. Her once-forgotten films had become cult classics, and her image, the rebellious, bob-haired beauty, became timeless. Brooks passed away on August 8, 1985, at the age of 78. Despite the ups and downs of her career, she remains an enduring icon, celebrated as one of the most unique and influential actresses in film history,